Queens is my home. Queens is my home. It's my home. Queens is where I raised my family. It's a great place for kids. Queens is families. Queens is home for immigrants. It's the American dream. It's a place where we care for our seniors. It's great schools. Queens is harmony. Queens is small business. Queens is culture. Queens is arts. Queens is the future of New York. What is Queens? For my parents, David and Jean, Queens meant community. Mom was a performer with the USO, entertaining troops overseas. Dad was a high school teacher in Jamaica High School, working to expand music education in our public schools. They truly believed that Queens could have everything any family would need. They hated the idea that people felt like you had to go over a bridge or through a tunnel to experience culture. So Dad became the first conductor of the Queens Symphony Orchestra, and Mom founded the Queens Council on the Arts. My brothers and I grew up seeing all the diverse people, all the distinct neighborhoods, and all of the great things every community of this borough had to offer. Raising Carter and Hunter here in Queens is my American dream. And for so many families, Queens is where the American dream begins. Many of us grew up here, but even more people come here from all over the country and all over the world. At its core, Queens is the borough of families in the most inclusive definition of the word. Over the decades, we've come to know that the word family can include so many different things. But whether young or old, nuclear, extended or blended, gay or straight, with children or without, when people come together to form a family, regardless of their race, background, or circumstance, they become the backbone of our borough and of our society. Queens is a borough where we can grow up and grow old, where we can learn and challenge ourselves, where we can find a good job to go to and a safe place to come home to. Queens really does have it all. Vibrant arts and culture, fine dining and ethnic cuisine from every corner of the world, professional sports, beautiful beaches, forests and open parks, skyscrapers and neighborhoods of single family homes, and a dynamic economy that is growing more diverse and more successful by the day. Our great schools have launched literally millions of careers, putting talented young minds out in the workplace to drive changes that our parents could not have ever imagined. Our colleges and universities produce doctors and lawyers and engineers and teachers and countless other professionals who keep our city vibrant and healthy. We have an artistic community that is deeply embedded in our borough's culture and in our economy. Yes, we have the Queen Symphony Orchestra and PS1, but we also have television and film production that creates jobs while providing entertainment to the entire nation. Our professional sports captivate the world and weave a fabric of hope for countless young boys and girls who dream of hitting a home run at City Field or growing up to be the next Venus or Serena at the US Open. 50 years ago, the World's Fair drew the eyes of every nation to our borough to see what the future would look like. Today, the world is coming to our borough to make that future real. People move here every day, and we literally cannot build housing fast enough to accommodate the need. In many ways, Queens offers a number of paradoxes that will challenge us. We are one borough, yet we have so many subcultures as anywhere in the world. We speak over 100 different languages at home, which can make it difficult to speak with one voice, but we manage. We're growing older and younger at the same time, with a growing senior population that needs affordable homes and healthcare, and a growing community of incredible young minds working in the tech sector that will help drive our economy for decades to come. But regardless of our differences, we are one big family, made up of many, many individual families that have chosen to call Queens home. We stand united in our determination to keep this a borough of families because we know that what's good for our families is good for Queens.